la 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 oh 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 la 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 I'm Jerry this is the Pound of Wheat Kitchen and today we're gonna make a lovely little raw dish with zucchini everyone's favorite vegetable You can use a peeler for this or a mandolin, you know, those things that make the juliennes. But this is, we're gonna get these lovely little noodles of zucchini out of this. And it's just going to extrude these lovely noodles, um, which we're gonna use pretty much as is. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for a really low oven, as low as you can get your oven for about 25 minutes, uh, just to warm it. Um, raw food doesn't have to be cold food. Raw food can be warm, it can be delicious. And this is vegan, but uh, uh, I don't always eat it as a vegan dish. Sometimes I add it, I use it as a side dish with meat. Meat, because meat is delicious. Now I've got about three zucchini in here right now. Uh, for four people, I use six zucchini. Uh, but when I get to the three mark, just I add a little bit of salt and toss it, just, and then I'm gonna do the next three. I got three cups of walnuts, about a quarter cup of uh, grated ginger, a tablespoon of organic peanut butter, and two tablespoons of cumin seed, just whole cumin seed in here. And we're gonna pulse. Pulse it till you get something that looks vaguely like uh, a light brown ground beef. And then we're gonna throw it in if you're getting a very low oven or if you've got a uh, dehydrator, a food dehydrator, works brilliantly. We're just trying to, it's a raw dish, we're not trying to cook it, we're not trying to toast it, we're just trying to get rid of some of the moisture and um, turn this into something that is a little bit more resembling of ground beef. So now we're going to make the sauce, this delicious sauce. Uh, we're using uh, about two cups of raw cashews. Which we're just going to throw into the food processor. Raw food is food processor heavy. Um, this is coconut butter. So it's uh, two tablespoons of coconut butter. Um, I'm going to start to pulse this. We're looking for a really fine consistency, sort of like uh, cornmeal. A little thicker maybe, uh, some coriander, one head of coriander. And we're just gonna process all of this until it starts to get kind of smooth. Finally, we're gonna add uh, a can of coconut milk. That's about two cups. And while this is really What you end up with is like a creamy coriander pesto, uh, dairy-free, uh, completely raw, and uh, totally delicious. This is our zucchini pasta. As you can see, it looks like real noodles. It's al dente. Actually, this will feed four people quite easily. So this is the base. That's our pasta. We're just gonna add, toss in some of the, but, half of this mixture. Then I'm going to mix in um, again about half of this sauce. I'm just gonna give this a little toss together. You can um, pass a little extra sauce on the side in case anybody likes their like saucy, it's really delicious. Coconut milk is so good for you. Uh, and then I just um, garnish with a little bit more of this and some cracked black pepper from the pantry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my blog, pound-week.com. Uh, Don't spell hyphen. Uh, it's just hyphens. Anyway, we're finding fitness at 50. Come along. It's a journey. Come on.